Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Today is such a freaking exciting day because I am finally getting something done that I've been wanting to do for so freaking long and that is getting veneers. And here is my teeth before. Today we're gonna do just the temporary veneers and then I'm gonna vlog when I get like my porcelain veneers that will happen on September 8th. Today is August, what's the date? 18th? I think it's the 16th, right? Okay, so it's August 16th today. I had my consultation in like May, I think, which was so long ago, so I feel like I've been waiting for ever. Today is May 24th and I'm going in for my first appointment for my veneers and I am so excited. I just like want them to be like on my teeth already, but I don't know when exactly we're going to put on the temps and you know the the finals I think he said maybe in July sometime so we still have a little bit of ways to go but today we're basically going to go in and pick the style that I want which I feel so overwhelmed because when I was on the consultation call we did a FaceTime consultation which was honestly awesome because I didn't really have to leave my house um but after the call she sent me these pictures I'm going to put them on the screen I was like are these not the same photo all the teeth styles that i see look the same so i was like so overwhelmed i was like holy crap i didn't even like realize there were so many different styles of teeth but basically my biggest insecurity for teeth is that they're really small at least my top ones like i have to smile really big and I feel like I'm kind of like low-key known for having an RBF, which is a resting bitch face, because it takes so much effort for me to smile and show my teeth, because I'm just like, so I really just want longer teeth, and then also, on the high, I don't love how they're like pointy, and I would love to get them like all just straight, and the tooth right beside my two front teeth, they kind of like are pushed back in a way, and I've gotten Invisalign twice, and I'm only realizing now that it didn't really fix the problem of like having really small teeth. So basically I just want them longer and bigger and I'm so freaking excited. I've been wanting veneers for a very long time and I'm just stoked that it's actually like happening. I just parked, I'm gonna walk over to the office and I'll try to film like the pre-op appointment. I'm guessing that's what they call this. Invisalign two times already and I'm just now realizing that's not what it could even fix because okay. my teeth are so small mm -hmm. and like I feel like my lips aren't even big but they feel big because okay. like they're hiding my teeth okay. sure, sure. so like I think I just like want them bigger and longer yeah, yeah. but also then like I haven't been wearing my retainer so, so then, like yeah. 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 yeah yeah and then the pointy things I don't love okay so a little like softer, just maybe? Right here. Okay, and yeah. then I took some screenshots yeah, yeah. and I don't like because the, the photo you sent me, I was yeah. like, I, I didn't even know that like they all look the same. Oh, the, uh, this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this can, thingy? Yeah, we can yeah. Work, yeah. no, yeah. that's better because okay. we yeah. can kind of like see what you like. So like, pretty much all of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I confuse you more. Yeah, for the process, like, there is a point where you wear like temporaries. Yeah. And so the temporaries, like, we can oh. definitely like, like design it like how you're thinking. Yeah. There's certain things that I think will look good and okay. certain things that mm, yeah, you know, no, you like, know? so yeah 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 she, yeah, 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 for sure. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so i mean i think i don't know we'll, we'll take a look we'll okay. take a look but i definitely want to incorporate some of like your design preferences okay. you know? and then but we'll, we'll kind of oh. give, give give ourselves into it too I trust you. um let me let me take a look closer look at your teeth okay. um so the lower teeth you're okay with the lower teeth I'm fine with that. Okay, okay. You are? Yeah, I am. I mean, I think the, I wish the edges were a little bit straighter. Maybe whiten them, maybe. Okay, yeah. Because a lot of times with the lowers, what I can do if it's minimal okay. um, is, you know, if the edges are just like this, um, just like flatten them out a little okay. bit. A little bit. Okay. Um, there's only so much I could do. Yeah. But if I can, you know, if there's some corner that's sticking up and, you know, because after you're done with the tops and they're like perfectly straight. Yeah. People start to notice like other things. You know, okay, it's like yeah. when you get something done, like one thing done, you're like, yeah. oh man. Oh, how many teeth do we have? Um, small, big. I mean, ideally, I think if you could do 10, uh -huh. that would be ideal. Because color wise, what do you think? Um, so 
I, I was telling her that like a lot of things I see are like really white. Yeah. And I don't like that. Okay, okay. Like I don't want to be fake. Sure, sure. I literally just want bigger teeth. Okay, okay. And so like right now, I mean, if I'm getting whitening, obviously, yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. want it to be like my color right sure, now because sure. I feel like yeah. we could be whiter. Yeah. But I feel like I have pretty white teeth compared to okay. like a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so just not you have anything too... on your front too? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, the crown. The crown. Okay, the crown. Okay. We'll take an x-ray just to okay. see how that looks. But yeah, definitely like getting on your level. Yeah, it's not real big. I mean, you have a bronze spot. I mean, eight is a good minimum. Uh -huh. Ten would be the ideal. Uh -huh. You know, when we think about ten, the difference between eight and ten is either the color that's going to be. Because if you if you had if you said, hey, I want super bright, I'd be have oh. to do ten. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But you don't want, which is good. Then I have to look at like. You know, is it full enough on the sides? Because you know, like when you do Invisalign and brace, they're really trying to broaden the teeth out to to give you like a full smile. Okay. So you just don't see the front section. Okay. So if there's a deficiency in the fullness, then I sometimes think okay, if we do the ninth and tenth tooth, it just kind of broadens mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. It still looks natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it looks like that full kind of yeah. smile effect. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. But, but yeah, let me. Um, okay. like, if you want to lean back. Yeah. I love that you're into social media. I've been stalking your TikTok page yeah. and I love it. <laughs> you, you've gotten like your teeth cleaned, you keep up with that? Um, so okay. no. Okay, okay. But I actually made a dentist appointment okay. and it'll be in June. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Because we're booked out a little bit, so yeah. the idea would be as long as you get them cleaned and yeah. everything like if you have any like, cavities on the molars or teeth that we're not working on, like on the lower teeth, like if you just get all that stuff. Okay. Out, okay. You know? Mm -hmm. but I'll and what we will take some extra just to make sure okay. the teeth we're working on are open that open are really big for me. Like I said, with the temporaries too, like you know, it's not it's not guesswork. It's it's just like we're gonna like try Perfect. something, yeah, 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 try something. So, because with size, definitely aesthetically, size wise, we'll get you. Okay. But I also need to make sure like you can close your mouth open, yeah, like yeah. you can speak without like listening. Right. Open, you know, like you right. don't feel like you're gonna bang into them a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do an impression. Okay. Okay. And then Kelly will do a couple of impressions, and then we'll do some extras. Okay. Bite down close. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now I'm going to squirt some stuff on your teeth. Okay. Bite down on this stuff. Okay. okay. Open your mouth a little bit. Cool. Okay. And I'm just honestly in shock that it's actually happening today because I've just been thinking about it for so long. So I literally cannot believe that my teeth are going to be like something different than this. I'm going to pack my bag. I'm going to bring you guys with me, my camera, my tripod. I'm going in at 8 a.m. and they said I would be done by 12. So that's going to be kind of a long time there, but I didn't really have time to make anything for breakfast. And I'm not even really that hungry right now. I know like the hunger is going to strike like in an hour, but that's okay. I'll just eat after. <laughs> Hopefully I can. Last night I was like having like really vivid dreams about getting my teeth done. And then my like alarm clock went off at like such a weird time that I couldn't even finish the dream. But my Lyft driver is gonna be here in two minutes. So gotta go. I'm here in Dr. Patel's office in the waiting room. Oh my God. I honestly, like, I don't know. I just keep saying it doesn't feel real, but it really doesn't feel real. Good morning, I'm Dr. Tish Patel. I'm a cosmetic dentist here in Austin. I've been doing this for about 20 years and I'm so excited to be able to help Sonali with her smile transformation. So yeah, this is your teeth right now, okay. based on the impressions we took. Whoa. And then this is, it's not the color, it's just the shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? So you can kind of start to see the difference. Wow. Like in the edges and you know, one of the biggest things is just the level. Yeah. You know, so they're gonna be a Holy lot more crap. level. So again, so we're gonna use this as your initial design and then we can kind of go from there. Wow. So if you feel like, you know, like when I see you for a follow-up, mm -hmm. if you feel like, oh, they're too big, too okay. small. I don't think they're gonna be too small, but yeah. maybe too big or too bright or not bright enough or whatever, we can still modify okay. so the permanents are how you want them to be. Cool. So yeah, it's gonna look wow. really good. That's insane. Now, I know you have like the like the veneer or crown on this front one. Yes, yeah. So we're gonna have to remove that. Okay. And then anywhere you have spaces between yeah. the teeth, like we'll probably have to like open, like drill a little bit more in uh -huh. between the teeth. Okay. Just so the, the porcelain can completely wrap around to close the space. Mm -hmm. we, you know, if we do this, we don't wanna yeah. leave spaces, you know? Yeah, for sure. So the front teeth, the, I think the side teeth are gonna be pretty conservative, I think. Mm -hmm. It's just on the front teeth, we'll have to do a little bit more. Okay. Uh,
I'm so in. Literally, my whole face is numb. Like, I'm touching my nose and it feels so weird. My lips feel so numb and weird. But I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of my teeth. Oh my god. I don't know, I can't, I, I, like, I can't tell, but I can't tell. Like, they're straight in. Oh my god. I wish I wasn't so numb so I could like see the whole effect. <laughs> oh my god, I literally look like psycho. I am home and my mouth and nose are so numb still. So I can't really see like what it really looks like. But I just got 10 on the top. So nothing on the bottom, but they did whiten the teeth on the bottom. And I'm like low-key in kind of a lot of pain from that. Because I'm just getting like very, very sensitive. I feel like I can't even talk because like the air makes it so sensitive. So I might take a nap just to like wait till this numbness wears off. And so I can really give you guys my reaction. I mean, like, they look really freaking straight, so, like, I'm happy with that, but I don't know, I can't really see much because my lip is, like, taking everything over. They did give me a little swag bag, though. I got a new toothbrush. I love a Sonicare. I've always used Sonicare since, like, I was pretty young because my mom would buy that for me for, like, a Christmas present, a new Sonicare. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to use right now because it's uh, an ultra-sensitive mouthwash. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's a wash. And then there's a water pick. I've never used this before, but they said um, to clean it with that. And then what is this? There's some kind of like oil in this. I can't remember what they said to do with that. So I'll maybe have to ask them about that. But um, the veneers, the temps are only one single like thing it's not like every tooth is separate so it is going to be hard to clean and like floss and everything so hence the water pick um but the finals will obviously be individual teeth so yeah keep you guys updated when my mouth isn't this numb smile reveal here we go these are the teeth swelling has gone down immensely even though i feel like this still looks kind of swollen and it kind of hurts a little bit um so maybe it hasn't gone down but basically these are the temporary veneers so these are not the finals and we have a follow-up in a week so i can tell them things that i like things that i don't like what i want them to change and yeah since this is all one piece it just feels so tight still like 24 hours later um and they said it would feel like that for a really long time and it honestly does not feel very comfortable so i've been kind of popping some tylenol here and there when i first saw my teeth i was kind of shook and i didn't even know really how to react because i was swollen then the swelling started to wear off and i could kind of see it a little bit more and i feel like i kind of have a lisp now which maybe it's just like now i need to like learn how to like talk and smile and stuff um but then i woke up this morning and i like took some photos of my teeth and i really really liked them especially when i'm vlogging i feel like they like just look so good and like straight i cannot wait to see the finals because if these are just the temps like the finals are going to be so much better because they're going to be like actual porcelain so they'll be shinier and not just one piece and i won't feel this like uncomfortableness and honestly it really is bothering me um like i can still do stuff but I definitely want to talk less because I'm a little bit uncomfortable, um, but the Tylenol has been helping a little bit. I can't remember if I already said this in the video, but basically since these are temporaries and they're plastic, I need to be careful of like what I can eat. So I can't really like tear or rip anything or eat anything really hard and crunchy. Um, and then I also need to be careful because they can stain really easily. So I can't really have like turmeric, which is in a lot of curry. Um, I can't remember the other stuff that they told me, but yeah, I was sad to hear that because I feel like I'm gonna be definitely um, taking some stuff out of my diet until September 8th because then 
obviously I can eat kind of whatever when I get my porcelain veneers. I'm definitely going to do a whole video once I get my final veneers in and I'll talk about the cost and procedure and just like the whole process. So if you guys have any questions about the process, definitely comment them down below and I'll make sure to answer them in that video. Lastly, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my doctor who did my veneers. I mean, they're not done yet, but I mean, they already look so freaking great. And that is Dr. Patel. He is located in Austin, Texas. I literally found him on TikTok when I was like getting serious about it. I've been wanting him for a really long time, but it was time to, you know, kind of look into the cost more and everything like that. And I found him on TikTok and he has almost 3 million followers. So I was kind of like shocked by that. I was like, what the heck? And then I started looking at his content and I was like, this is well deserved. Like his content is so good. I never get bored because they're just like so interesting to watch. It's almost like Dr. Pimple Popper, or what is that other guy called? I think he's like Dr. Miami or something. He like does the BBLs, but anyways, he just like does such good and very intriguing content all about veneers and just like transformations. And these transformations are insane. And I cannot wait to see like my final transformation from, you know, before to after so i wanted to give a huge thank you to him and his team because they're all so freaking nice when i went into my consultation first they were telling me about how people like travel to him like people from you know outside the country outside of the states literally travel to austin texas to get their teeth done by this doctor that I got done. So honestly, I feel really special that I was able to get it done with him. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I had my consultation on May 24th, I believe. And then my temporaries were done in August. So I did have to wait a good bit. So if you guys are like really interested in getting them done, definitely would start that like consultation and kind of get the ball rolling because he is pretty booked up for a good reason. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before leaving this video to see my final veneers and you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok which is so underscore gnarly without the g i will see y'all in my next video bye